Hello, my friends. Welcome to your reading for November 9th, 2023. This is an astrological and tarot reading, just an energy reading for the collective for November 9th. I'm doing one of these for every single day for the month of November, just to challenge myself, get into my personal practice of astrology and tarot, and to just kind of give you guys the energy report of what's up. So we're going to be talking about the astrology. We're going to be doing a little, little tarot check-in for every single day for the month of November. I mostly focus on the moon phases because I am a lunar witch. I am a moon witch. Um, but we'll also talk about some of the major transits that are happening. Um, if you hear my dogs barking in the background, don't mind them. My dog Jack is an Aries and he just loves to be loud. So anywho, um, yeah, if you enjoy this, please like, save, subscribe, share, comment, all the things. Um, I do this again. I'm doing this every day for the month of November here on YouTube. I also do um, accessible trauma informed witchcraft and astrology based yoga here. Um, yeah, I put out free yoga classes for every new moon and full moon. I do tarot readings. I do all the things. So come join us. Now we we already have the hermit lurking at the bottom of the deck um, for today, November 9th, 2023. This is the card of Virgo. Uh, I do feel like this is kind of the last day for this kind of pause energy, and then we're going to kind of start to move forward with the astrology of the next few days. On today, November 9th, we have the moon actually is entering Libra. The moon was in Virgo. It's in a waning crescent phase, so wrapping up this last moon cycle, which was an eclipse moon cycle as we gear up for the Scorpio new moon coming up in a few days. Um, we just had yesterday on November 8th, Venus entered Libra and now the moon is entering Libra. So, you know, the moon is leaving Virgo, the hermit and entering Libra. So I think today, November 9th, it's kind of our last um, little rest, <laughs> a little rest period. You know, the hermit is a card of like, rest, recovery, hibernation, going inward, taking that lantern inward. It's like intentional rest, right? It's like taking a break so you can look inward and see what's going on. So I think that's kind of the vibe of November 9th again. And then we're going to start to kind of like ramp up towards our new moon in Scorpio. We still have a lot of stuff in Scorpio right now. We have the sun in Scorpio, Mars in Scorpio, Mercury in Scorpio. Mercury is actually leaving Scorpio and entering Sag in a couple of days. So like I said, this is kind of on November 9th. It's kind of like our last little little break with Venus and the moon in Libra. It's a very kind of soft energy. It's like soft girl vibes, heavy focus on uh, relationships, um, beauty, aesthetics, self-care, you know, for sure. Um, yeah, so we're going to get on into it. That's pretty much what's going on astrologically. Again, we just came out of this. This is the end of this really major eclipse moon cycle. So we had in this past moon cycle, our lunar eclipse in Taurus on Halloween weekend. And this waning crescent that is now entering Libra is wrapping that up. And then we're going to have our Scorpio new moon, which is the start of a new moon cycle. So if you want to learn how to work with the moon phases, by the way, I do have a moon magic guided journal. It's a digital journal, it's like 35 pages long with everything you wanted to know and journal prompts and rituals for the moon phases. I have witchcraft and wellness courses. I have all the things. So if you want to learn, just look in the description box. I have all my stuff there. Now, let's see. What do we need to know <laughs> on November 9th, 2023? The three of pentacles again, y'all. I cannot make this up. Like, go back and watch the readings from the past couple of days. The Three of Pentacles, and I just saw 333 as I'm recording, has been here. Like, keeps coming up. And also the Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. We had this. We've had it come up a couple times. We had it last night. Um, I did a live reading for November 8th. Chaos, <laughs> right? Fighting, you can tell. But with the Three of Pentacles, it's like, again, the kind of message for yesterday, November 9th, was like, direct your energy. And it's like, direct your energy into building something, to be honest. Like... Take the time, like this week, specifically yesterday, November 8th, today, November 9th, this week as we kind of gear up for the new moon in Scorpio to build something, to put your energy into building something perhaps with your friends or looking for, for support from your friends. This is a card of also a job well done. So maybe it's like looking at what you have built thus far and being like, hey, I did this. Like, mm. um, But you can tell like in the Three of Pentacles, this guy here has just built this like this pentacle archway thing and his friends are looking on um right there that's the guy standing and building and then his friends are like wow good job like i think on november 9th it could be a time where you're like getting kind of the job well done pat on the back from your friends or maybe seek support from your friends if you maybe have questions or don't know which direction to go um but yeah that three of pentacles has been our stalker card for sure what else is happening on November 9th? It's so interesting, by the way, to just see like how the energies carry on the day to day, how they shift. But there's definitely like a 
thread between all these readings and it's just really crazy to see happen in real time it's it's very it's fun i don't know i'm enjoying these readings i'm like if nobody else watches at least i'm having a good time all right what else do we need to know on this day november 9th 2023 chaos mode says not today all right we'll pull the old-fashioned way all right, Ten of Pentacles. Would you look at that? What a lovely card to get. We had Ten of Pentacles come out yesterday. You know, this is a great stalker card to have. It is complete and total abundance for you, your family. Look at your dogs, everybody, everybody, friends, family, everyone is having the just most abundant time ever. That's what we're building towards, right? I just saw 555 as I'm recording all the angel numbers coming through. Would you look at that? The Four of Wands. Dang so much stability and foundation and grounding here oh my goodness the king of this is like one of the best readings i've seen in a long time the king of pentacles another card that has been coming up in most of these readings we're just going to get all these out here page of cups i usually do a good six card spread um with this deck and then we clarify with another deck so let's get the first few messages okay eight of cups all right well we love to see it the ace of wands is lingering at the bottom of the deck new passionate beginnings with the nine of cups right behind it wish come true wish fulfillment energy this is this is nice like november 9th okay come through um so we have the ten of pentacles with the page of cups right beneath it and this is like you want to get to your ten of pentacles by the way i just got my nails done yesterday it's so nice um if you want to get to your ten of pentacles you may have to kind of tap into your page of cups intuition uh love emotions feelings right pages are usually messengers and the page of cups is coming in with a message of love a message of feeling um and maybe this is I, i'm hearing like you need to like put your heart on your sleeve you maybe need to take a little risk in kind of being vulnerable in trusting your intuition in kind of showing your emotions or expressing your emotions to other people or maybe to yourself um that's kind of going to get us started on this journey of the to the ten of pentacles it's like we have to be willing to trust our intuition we have to be willing to take those kind of emotional risks and express ourselves um i'm hearing madonna's um express yourself song in my head and again the ten of pentacles is like long-term abundance it's continued abundance for you and your friends and your family and your legacy and all those things with the four of wands again home base um balance you see the two wands here two wands here stability uh foundation there's actually like a, a couple like getting married under there and you know they're gonna start building their home life and it's like who do you want there who do you want around you there's a very heavy focus on like your friends your family your support system with three of pentacles ten of pentacles four of wands who do you want in this this ten of pentacles who do you want like as you move forward into this we have the knight of swords with this four of wands and it's like charging you know the knight of swords is like the lightning pony you can see here he's charging ahead full force on um, the knight of air and you know it's like we're charging right into this four of wands but i think just a little like not warning but the little like um cautionary tale here is like don't try to charge into anything too quickly because this kind of lightning pony can come and just knock down <laughs> these wands right you don't want to do too much too fast too soon is what i'm hearing like the journey to the ten of pentacles is yes a long one um you know it takes time and effort to get to that point and you shouldn't be trying to rush it you shouldn't be trying to rush you know your home your stability your foundation that long-term abundance it does take time um so you know don't rush it on november 9th i would just kind of take things slow focusing on the bigger picture again reaching out to your friends for help you know with this moon and venus and libra it's like leaning into some self-care page of cups can definitely also be like filling your own cup filling the cups of your friends and then we have the king of pentacles and the eight of cups and the king of pentacles is like i love the king of pentacles it's like um you know i think the reason why it is taking us a little bit longer to get to the ten of pentacles to the four of wands and why you got to be careful not to like disrupt it and throw it off with this knight of swords too fast too much too fast too soon energy is because the king of pentacles again it takes a long time to get to the king of pentacles um the king of pentacles is the king of pentacles is the king of material wealth abundance and like just the boss because he has worked very hard to get here and he has a ton of systems in place 
that allow abundance to just flow to him naturally because he has like worked hard over like a long time span to just have it so it kind of goes off automatically. The abundance comes like clockwork basically with the king of pentacles. And to have that, you might actually need to walk away from something. Now, interesting fact, the eight of cups is the only card that has an eclipse on it. You can see here that the sun and the moon are kind of eclipsing each other here and we just came out of our eclipse season. And eclipse, this eclipse season, well, we're actually kind of still in it. Like with this new moon in Scorpio that's coming up, we will officially be out of the eclipse moon cycle. Um, but with this eclipse cycle, so many of us walked away from things, walked away from these cups. You can see this person is literally putting all these cups behind him, like, goodbye. Don't want it anymore because yes, while those cups are upright and they're like gold shiny cups and yeah, they may have like served us well at one point, they do not serve us anymore. And we're like, I'm no, like eclipses or portals that put you where you need to be. And you for sure step through that portal because we're trying to get to that king of pentacles at four of wands at 10 of pentacles. So I love to see it. Now we're going to clarify here with the um, after tarot, which you'll notice looks almost exactly like the Rider Waite tarot, but this is the traditional tarot one moment after. So it's all these Rider Waite tarot cards just like a little bit after. So we're going to clarify with this deck. We have, we have the Page of Pentacles lingering at the bottom of the deck. It's interesting to me that the Page of Pentacles has this little like gnome guy on here. Usually it's just the page. But there's a little gnome guy. Again, I just really, a lot of these cards here have like multiple people, have like friends, family. The Page of Pentacles is like a student, a learner um, in the material. My dogs are just, I mean, we'll just take it as confirmation every time they lose their mind. But perhaps going back to the beginning, allowing yourself to be a beginner again, allowing yourself to learn again, right? The Page of Pentacles is where we start to get to the king of pentacles so starting to put those systems in place starting to have those kind of abundance money making kind of um systems and strategies in place so they just happen automatically like clockwork so you can get to the king of pentacles we're setting those things up what else do we need to know for this day november 9th If chaos mode doesn't work, we'll go ahead and pull cards the old fashioned way. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> I cannot make this up, y'all. The Three of Pentacles is here again. And you can see here, um, this architect is done. He is done with his sculpture. Like, look at the difference between these two cards. If I can pick it up with these dang nails. So he's like working on it. And in this one, he's finished. He's built this archway already and now he's building something else. And I would say probably November 9th, this is a great day to work on a new project, whatever it is. If it's like, you know, what's really funny is um, on November 9th, cause I'm filming this on the 8th. So tomorrow, November 9th, I'm actually getting together with my best friend and we're gonna be recording a podcast. So like that should probably be what you're doing on November 9th, like building something new, starting a new project possibly with your friends. Um, again, heavy on the friendship vibes in this reading or the support, your support system vibes. What else do we need to know on November 9th, 2023? Judgment, graduation. I'm not afraid of the judgment card. I like it, especially when it's here with the five of pentacles and the five of cups. Are you kidding me? Wow. Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> we have judgment <laughs> with the five of pentacles and the five of cups literally sandwiched right in between judgment and the world card. <laughs> like if this isn't a full circle moment, I don't know what is like graduation day from the loss the pain the suffering the physical loss the financial loss the injury the sickness the grief the disappointment the crying being in the fields zero out of ten full judgment day full circle into the world full circle into that cycle ending like be so astronomically for real right now um 
if you've been in my readings on my channel for a hot minute, the Five of Cups has been like our stalker card. Like I do live readings in my YouTube membership here, which if you wanna join, just hit the join button on my channel. Come join us for live readings, live yoga, live workshops. Um, but the Five of Cups has been our stalker card. And you can see in the Five of Cups, it's crying over spilt milk, right? We're crying over what we have lost when there are two upright cups right behind us. And the Five of Pentacles, you can see here, this family is out in the cold, right? Like this isn't a place anywhere anyone wants to be. And it's like, we're literally having judgment day for this. Like we're graduating from this and having our full circle moment. Like that cycle is done. Like we love to see it. And would you look at that? There's the nine of cups again, wish come true. That is the, the nine of cups is the wish come true card. And this guy has his wish come true, right? So traditionally in the nine of cups, I believe it was actually at the bottom of the deck in the other deck. Yep. So you can see here it was behind the ace of wands. This guy, sit, he's actually supposed to be like a barkeep. He's sitting in front of all his cups and he made a wish. And guess what? It came true. This guy's bringing him his feast. Like his wish came true. Would you believe it? Um, yes, we're leaving. I just realized the eight of cups into the nine of cups. We're like, you have to, it's like you have to, and I don't like to say you always have to sacrifice something to get something because that just is not fun but you have to walk away from these eight cups that aren't serving you anymore to walk into your nine of cups to walk into your wish fulfillment to have that full circle moment to have your feast um you can't have your cake and eat it too right you have to give up the old cake that isn't serving you anymore so you can come out of this five of cups and this five of pentacles have your judgment day have your full circle moments and walk right into your wish come true like come on that's what we all want isn't it our wish fulfillment yeah and there's the warning again, the Ten of Swords. Um, we've had saw, seen the Ten of Swords a couple of times. Who's coming out with that? Yep, and the Magician. The only way out of the Ten of Swords is you, the Magician. You have all the tools you need. You can see he has all the tools, the suits of the tarot, the cups, the swords, the wands, the pentacles. He has it all. Um, if you want to get out of your Ten of Swords, which is, I mean, this person's literally did on the Ten of Swords. Um... Ten of Swords is usually a person with ten swords in their back, bleeding on the ground. <laughs> like, a lot of us feel that way. I mean, the world feels that way. You know, we feel that. And the only way out of that is to be the alchemist, is to take control, is to use the tools that you have. Sometimes we gotta trash magic that. If you're like, Natasha, I don't know. Like, I don't see my wish coming true. I don't see a way out of this. I don't see, like... You gotta maybe trash magic it. Like use what you got. Use your resources that you have around you. You don't have to go buy new things or like spend all this money to like do what you gotta do, right? You, I mean, I film these readings. I don't think you guys understand. I film these readings with my iPhone on like a $10 tripod I got on Amazon. I have built everything that I do, um, like my whole business from my phone with not fancy equipment, like, I just, you know what I mean? Like trash magic it. Look at what you have and use it. Look at what's around you and put it to use. And the warning comes in the form of the devil card of Capricorn. Who are we getting with that? And justice. Yeah. Um, obviously, <laughs> we don't want the devil energy. It's like there is kind of a lingering vibe of like, do not fall back into old patterns, you know, um, with the moon in Libra, with Venus in Libra, with this like heavy Libra energy, heavy self-care energy, heavy luxury energy. It can be easy to fall back into the patterns of, I just realized justice again is here. It's the card of Libra. Literally what I'm, I'm saying it, I don't even realize that it's like I'm holding the cards in my hands. Um, do not get too lush, too extravagant, too luxurious right? Do not waste all your money on this going to do self-care and like, I, you know, everything's in Libra and I want to just get beautiful and like and go like, it's like don't sacrifice too much to treat yourself in the moment, right? This is not a treat yourself moment. This is a focus on the, the stability and building things and having fun with your friends and building things with your friends and creating this, your dream life and your wish come true. Um, don't get distracted by distractions, right? <laughs> the, the, the unhealthy coping mechanisms are like, I want this new thing or I, you know, I want to, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I mean, it's the devil is the temptations, the ties that bind, the things that keep us stuck, the things that keep us repeating toxic cycles. Like it's your toxic behavior. And there's a fine line um, between like 
taking care of yourself and self-care and like treating yourself and going overboard. I think that's where the delicate balance is here on November 4th with all this Libra stuff happening. So my friends, with that, I will leave you. Um, if you want a personal reading, you can book them through my website. Again, I have a ton of witchcraft and wellness resources. I have eBooks, I have courses, I have guided journals. Come learn the moon phases with me. Come join my membership here on YouTube if you want live tarot, live yoga, live workshops, or just subscribe. And I put out these videos for free and I'm doing it every single day for the month of November. So I hope to see you tomorrow, my friends, and have a wonderful rest of your day.